Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 66 YouTube videos covering beginners level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts. From couple of videos onwards, I have started teaching you the real time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. This is our lesson 67 in terms of overall Tricentis Tosca training and this is our obstacle 25 in terms of real time scenarios where I am going to teach you how can we solve an obstacle where you need to click on an element which is hidden in the UI page. Now let us go and see in detail what is the obstacle that we are going to solve for. So this is our obstacle list and our obstacle name is hidden element which is categorized as easy. So let us go for it. What is the obstacle? Who turned off the lights? Click the hidden element. So here under this area, the black color area, there is one element you need to click on. So that element is hidden. So how can we perform click operation for the element which is hidden? So for Tosca, right, as long as the element is visible in Xcan, then you can simply solve the problem. So if the element is hidden or not hidden, it doesn't matter for Tosca. Let us go to present Tosca and solve the problem. So we're going to start working on the module first. As usual, I'm going to scan the object. Right click on this obstacles folder, select scan and application. So what is the application? So this is my application, right? Select the application and click on scan. So what I would like to do here, see the object is not visible, but I have to guess what object it is. How can I guess? I can probably use these elements, right? Easy, who turned off lights. So exactly after this element, right? Or after this object, you can find the hidden. So for that, I would like to expand the filter. Just simply go towards the right. So here now. So if you scroll down, I should find easy here, right? Easy. This is my easy. Let's search for easy. See here you can see easy. This is your simply development, right? These are all the developments. So here easy after that you can see there is another div. Here you see click this. There is an object. Click this object which is also a container, div container. Okay. So if you select this one. Here you can see this is uniquely identified. If you scroll down, so this has a technical property or identify the properties, technical property called ID and which is click this. And also it has a tag as span because this is span. This is basically span tag, right? And which is a container. So that means this particular hidden element now I'm able to identify and this is uniquely identified by using id property and span property and tag property. So now let us rename this module with the obstacle name copy and rename this and save this one and close the xcan. Let us go back to Tricentis Tosca. Let us validate if the latest module is available. So this is my latest module. Double click on this. You can see click this. This is my div container. So now let us go to left part which is a test case section. So this is my test case folder where I am storing all the test cases pertaining to different obstacles. So I would like, I would recommend you guys to visit my previous videos to solve all these obstacles that we covered till date. So here on this obstacle test case folder, right click on this, 
and create test case and name this with the same obstacle name that we captured earlier. Double click on this test case. Now to automate the scenario, simply drag this module onto test case. And here I can specify, click this particular hidden object. This is your hidden object. You are not able to see on the screen, right? See here, you don't see on the screen. Okay, but Tasca is going to click on this particular Tasca is going to click on that particular object. So simply right click and then run in Scratchbook. See here, the object is exactly at this location. Clicked. And you saw all this automation problem. Let me try again. Now again, let's run this again one more time and see where that object will be available and where it is going to click on. See now, your object is moved here. This is where the location of the object. So this is how you can solve the problem where object can now, object may be hidden, but that object you can read through Xscan. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Hope you all understand the concept. How can we solve the obstacle where you need to click on an element which is hidden in the UI by using Tricentis Tasca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.